I will explain uh, really fast what was done to the inside of the blaster. First, I will want to break that I changed my Picatinny on the left side as well. So now I have Picatinny on both sides. First thing, spring. Uh, I've put a K25, but this is actually better material. It's a Pro 25. I'll cut it to almost 21 uh, centimeters in length. I will show later how to actually close the blaster with uh, such a strong spring which will stay in pre-tension second barrel I've tested uh, 30 centimeters I've tested 28 centimeters uh, the one that I, uh, I tested in 30 had a bit higher internal diameter the standard of 13 this is a worker barrel 28 centimeters you fix it here with whatever uh, you want. It's very important that it does not move in any direction. Yeah. Now I will also show later how do you actually choose a barrel length depending on the plunger to volume, the spring and the breech volume. Uh, take into consideration that in this blaster the dart is pushed into the dart gate not into the beginning of the barrel which means that if you put a barrel with lower internal diameter like the standard bra uh, lower outer diameter like the standard brass barrel uh, i recommend you to somehow push it inside the dark gate somehow so that the dart is pushed at least partially in the beginning of the barrel otherwise you will have reliability issues Uh, also take into consideration that when you test with whatever barrels you have like 26, 25, whatever you have you have to test with the B car or the scar attached because that adds to the length as well now third part is very important it's this shim here it is transparent not so easy to see but uh, the first link in the description will be with the uh, the recommendation that I found on Reddit to add this and the, the 3D printed part basically what it does is um, see what happens here when uh, the bridge locks it, this uh, it makes it so that it doesn't wiggle too much before it before this was here uh, after priming the blaster if you didn't fire immediately maybe this one could have gotten to here and then you had air coming out through here and inconsistency because you would lose your air seal. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, if you can uh, buy a propane torch and actually burn this end and uh, bend it a bit so that it doesn't damage the plastic, it's even better. My wife said that I purchased too many Nerf things, so I'm not allowed to buy it anymore regarding the air seal i think it was good uh, when i purchased it i i simply added some of oil, this oil and the uh, rod uh, o-ring well, now what i do is that i usually when i know that i will open a blaster uh, many times i will use uh, lower cst oil yeah this one has only 34 uh, cst means uh, uh, viscosity so Lower CST means uh, lower viscosity. And when I know that I will not uh, use a blaster for a long time, or no, I will use it, but uh, without opening it, I put a higher CST oil. For example, this one is 200 CST. And I don't think I've done anything else that's important. Here is how to close the blaster. So you put the spring in, make sure you turn it in the right direction. Yeah, you don't want to turn it like this, you turn it like this. Yeah. You hold this in place, make sure it's not like this, uh, like this. Yeah, it has to be like this. Yeah, so actually inside. Then you push it and what you will do is that you will pull with these two fingers while pushing with the right hand. And uh, of course you have to have ready the other part, right? I didn't have it ready right now, but you have to start and you start by putting it here and you can discover the rest by yourself. 
here is how to use the optimal baron length for uh, this blaster but uh, of course this technique will work for other blasters as well and to be honest even better because it they have a other blaster will usually have a cylindric plunger tube for which it's easier to calculate the volume of gas pushed depending on the uh, priming length and the internal uh, diameter anyway so let's see for this one we'll use a formula which has a ca constant in, in it uh, which was empirically discovered so we have the volume of the gas push 